For this video, I'm going to show you how I made the glitter wall behind me using two cans of glitter paint. So this is the new Rust-Oleum glitter interior wall paint. I got it in sterling silver and I used two cans to get the effect behind me and some other handiwork. Unfortunately, the paint by itself did not turn out how I was hoping, so I had to take measures into my own hands and still it didn't really turn out how I wanted it. So the first thing I did is I filled the holes that were in the wall. So I took my putty. This is dry decks, goes on pink, dries white. So as you can see, it starts off this color and then it dries white after about two hours. Two hours later. After that, you're gonna to wanna to sand the putty so it's nice and smooth. I've got my sanding blocks and I also have sanding paper. So just depending on what your preference is, you want to get a nice smooth finish before you prime the wall. So on the side of the glitter paint, it says that you're going to want to prime the wall using a paint that is similar to the color of the glitter. So that's what I got. So I went to Canadian Tire and I picked a color called October Sky. So that's, uh, you can see there's glitter all over there. So it's just a light, light gray color. So I've got not one, but two cans of that. So to do the base color, you're going to want to tape any area that you don't want to get paint on. So I've got my two rolls of tape and I've got classic green painter's mate, green tape. And I picked up a roll of this Scotch 3M Edge Lock Advanced Blue Tape. And this stuff is really good. So I tried both of them and I discovered that this one is the one to use. It gives you a really nice crisp line, comes off really easily, and it's not a problem. So once you tape around the perimeter of the wall, you're going to want to take some brushes and you're going to want to tape around the perimeter so that um, it's easy when, to roll on and you don't have to worry about getting the paint on spaces that you don't want paint on. So once that was done, I had a nice gray base. I went ahead and I rolled the glitter paint on. I did two coats of that and it turned out really, really, really patchy and bad. It did not look good at all. So I wasn't happy with that and I thought hmm, maybe if I just build it up in the center strip so that I can use it as a background for when I make videos, uh, maybe it just needs more coats. So I decided to tape the top and bottom of the wall and paint it back to the gray color. So I did that and you can see I've got and then the glitter and you can see there's a line here. So the top and the bottom of the wall are the gray and I built up the paint on the center to try to get a nice sparkly glittery effect. So I was really hoping to get something that looked like this. which you can see is a nice shimmery glitter. And unfortunately, it's something that looked more like this. It's patchy, it's choppy, chunky, it's not good. Um, so I really wasn't happy after using two cans of the glitter paint. Um, it was not what I was expecting. I'll show you what the paint looks like because I have a little bit left in this can. Thank you. It's pretty sparkly. I was expecting it to, to go on a lot differently. So then I went to Pinterest and I did some research and it looked like a lot of people just used Mod Podge or glue and then they just threw or used a blow dryer or blew the glitter onto the wall. So I thought that's easy enough. So I grabbed uh, two bottles of glue and I started painting layers of glue onto the wall using brushes. After I put a strip of glue, I then took silver glitter, which I got at the dollar store in this pack here, and I just dumped it in my hand and went, and it all stuck onto the wall. I also picked up a pack of multi-dimensional fine silver glitter from Michaels, and I mixed them together trying to get a very sparkly look. So after I did one coat of that, I thought it was sort of working, so I did two coats of glue and glitter. And that's what I've got behind me now. So that is a combination of the glitter paint plus loose glitter and glue. So unfortunately that did not turn out how I was hoping. 
Um, in the corners, you can see if I move the lighting a little bit, that uh, it just is not good. Some spots look really nice, other spots don't. Um, the other thing that's not great is if you get near the wall at all, you get covered in glitter. So if you go like that, for example, you can see there's a lot of fallout. So uh, I need to get all this glitter off the wall. I'm not really sure what the next step will be, but if you have any ideas on how to remove glitter from a wall, um, by all means, let me know. I think I'm going to have to sand the whole area down and paint over it. Um, if you're looking to get a really sparkly glitter wall, I've done even more research and found out that glitter wallpaper is the product to get and use, and uh, you'll get a much better effect. So, uh, Rust-Oleum glitter paint, mm, not approved. <laughs> Thanks for watching.